As industries around the world continue to work with a variety of documents, many, if not all, are looking for ways to automate and standardize the process of creating forms. GC Word Report templates are an excellent solution to tie documents to a variety of data sources when creating standardized documents. By standardizing the document creation and execution, data integrity is maintained allowing for clean, easy-to-scan data sets to use and analyze. GC Word Report templates can be used with any programming language, but for the purposes of this video, we will use the GC Word API combined with a C-Sharp application to demonstrate how simple it is to automate document creation. The first step when making an automated process is to create a GC Word report template using mustache syntax, which are two curly brackets on each side of a data bound field. Set up the static fields, including tenant and landlord information, addresses, and phone numbers. Next, add the mustache syntax brackets using camel case notation to clearly understand the document. The names you establish in Camel Case will be bound to the data written in our C-Sharp application. Note the use of formatters with the curly brackets for items such as currency, indicated by the letter C, and dates, D. Save the file and make note of it to easily access the file for the remainder of the tutorial. Next, we will use a console application to demonstrate how templates can be utilized. Open Visual Studio and create a new c -sharp console application. In this example, we will call the project Word Template Example. Once the application has loaded, right-click on the project and go to Manage NuGet Packages. Select Browse and type GC Word into the search box. Then select grapecity.documents.word and click Install on the right side of the screen, followed by the OK and I Accept buttons. Once those steps are completed, migrate to the program.cs file and add the appropriate code. Instantiate the GC Word object and then load the template file into the object for processing. Note that the using statements for the appropriate namespaces must be included. Once the namespaces are included, add an XML data source where information is stored. Import the code from XML file to read the data and then add that data source to the GC Word object document. It's important to note that any data source can be used and not limited to the XML used in this example. Lastly, Process the template to retrieve data from the source, then save the file. Once complete, this simple, five-step process yields a clean and consistent file to share with tenants. Be sure to log on to grapecity.com and download the trial version of the API to browse even more examples. Happy coding!